Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Dauntless. More specifically, we're going to be going over one of Dauntless's weapons, the Chain Blades. Very much like my sword video before this one, the purpose of this video is to show you guys some of the moves for this particular weapon, show you guys the combos, and at the very end of it, I'm also going to be doing a hunt with commentary so that you guys get a feel for the playstyle of this specific weapon. Having said that, what is so special about the chain blades? Well, the chain blades are essentially, as of the recording of this video, the weapon with the most mobility in the whole game. So this is an extremely agile weapon which can instantly be seen if you just try dodging once you have this weapon equipped. You'll notice that your character actually kind of like teleports forward almost and this is the fastest dodge in the game but not only that your special gauge is also a mobility skill uh, it essentially allows you to both close gaps and run away from enemies reasonably fast so basically you guys will notice that you have like a scythe looking thing that's the progress bar indicating uh, how long it's going to take you to fill up another one of the balls uh, below it and the balls below it indicate how many times you can actually uh, close the gap or move away from the enemy and essentially the way it works is if you're far away from a behemoth but you're you know uh, looking at it you can actually press the special attack button and that is going to propel you towards that behemoth it does an animation very much reminds me of uh, god of war it essentially flings your character forward if, however, you are standing next to the behemoth and you press the special attack button, your character kicks away from the behemoth and does a backflip and basically uh, dodges backwards. Now, the good thing about these um, mobility skills is that they actually do not consume stamina whatsoever, which means that even after you do any of these things, you can still dodge or you can use attacks that consume stamina because you're not actually going to be consuming stamina with your special. Once you actually spend your special gauge, you will have to dish out some damage onto the behemoths in order to recover the special gauge. The, the mobility tricks are essentially the, the, what, what is unique about the chain blades. Okay, so let's have a look at the basic moveset of the weapon. As with every weapon in Dauntless, we are looking at light attacks and strong attacks. So let's start with the light attacks. Light attacks are going to give you a basic combo, which I believe is five hits, right? Yeah, five hits. Uh, the combo is called Bladed Edge. And this is your basic bread and butter combo to dish out some damage if a monster is next to you. Now, uh, you also have your heavy attack, but the thing about the heavy attack with the chain blades is that it actually consumes stamina, but it does so for a very good reason, because the heavy attack with the chain blades actually allows you to attack from a reasonable distance, as you guys can see. It's got quite a bit of reach to it, but it will consume your stamina, so it is a bit of a balancing act. You're going to have to decide, can I consume stamina to attack from far away, or should I actually close the gap and move in a little bit closer? Now, this attack also has two variants now there's the variant where if you don't input any direction on the analog stick your character is just going to do uh two kind of like vertical attacks followed by two horizontal attacks whereas if you actually input a direction he's going to start with a horizontal attack follow it with a vertical attack and then two more horizontal attacks so depending on whether or not you input any direction on the um left analog stick it is going to change the animation for this attack so keep that in mind so this attack is also very good for doing something which the community calls booping the snoop at least it used to be when i used to play in the uh closed beta i gotta be honest i haven't played as much of the chain blades uh in the latest iteration of the game but i believe it should still work so pretty much if a monster is charging at your group position yourself in a way that you can kind of like be away from the charge and then just attack it with um a ranged attack and you will most likely be able to trip the monster and cause an opening for your party so this is uh, a pretty good um, it's a pretty good attack to have and also if a monster is doing something very dangerous or maybe he's getting ready to enrage or maybe there is fire in the ground and you can't get to some place you can just attack from range using this ranged attack so basically you're able to both close the gap by using your special and attack with light attacks and if you have to be at a distance you can still use the heavy attacks but naturally that's not gonna be all so we still have two combos that we can do using the chain blades 
Uh, let me just see the actual names, because I know how to do the combos, I just don't know the names. So, one of them is the Swinging Blades, and Swinging Blades to me is essentially a combo for you to use if you are attacking a monster and he manages to move away from you. Because basically it's two light attacks, one strong attack, and one light attack. And what you're going to get is something like this. And this particular attack is like, okay, so I'm attacking the monster, he moved away. Okay, heavy attacks, and you're going to still hit him a little bit. That's, and also, it's good for AoE situations, even though I'm not a huge fan of fighting two behemoths at the same time. Using an AoE attack, I'd rather focus one of them down at a time. But, you know... It's a combo, it's in there, you can use it, it still deals a significant amount of damage, but to me the combo that is really important um, is the, uh, what, what's it called? Blade Spin. So this is three light attacks and one heavy, and you're going to keep that heavy pressed, and what you're going to get is this. One, two, three, then keep the heavy pressed. And this deals tons of damage. Now the hits are not like massive amounts of damage per hit it is very little amount of very little damage per hit but you're going to be doing tons of hits now naturally as you can see you are committing to an animation when you are performing this specific attack so make sure that you have an opening that is going to allow you to do this so monster is down monster is roaring monster is basically doing something that is not threatening to you you can go ahead do the three attacks and then do this and you can actually finish this out by doing a light attack at the end of it as well So you also get that attack at the end, but usually I just, this is like my go-to skill when I see an opening, when I see that I can actually start dealing damage, and it is really, really good damage. But again, the essence of this weapon is its mobility. So now let's get into a hunt and show you guys what these blades can do. Okay, so this time around we're going to be hunting down a Cherog, and we have three sword users with us. Can we get any more sword users out of here, please? So I'm going to start with a couple of ranged attacks. I want to see what he's going to be doing. I'm going to move in for some damage. He's going to be spewing out some fire. I want to be careful with that. I'm going to close in. Ooh, actually allowed myself to get hit by that. Shouldn't have not done it. Move away. Now, the main danger from the Cherog is all of the fire that you guys can see. Like, there's tons and tons of AoE in the ground. So I'm just basically trying to avoid all that. Because if you do touch those, um, if you do touch those fires, you're going to be basically, you're going to start to burn, and that's going to deal massive damage. But essentially, you want to just look for the openings that are going to allow you to do the, um, the spinning blades combo. I don't remember if that's the actual name or not, but basically, oops, messed that up. Incoming attack. Oh, wow, dodged right into it. Actually, no, no, I didn't. I did avoid that. Okay, let's wait for the next attack. So much fire in there. Okay, now let's move in. We were actually able to get a lot of value out of that, if you ask me. Let's move in again. Move out. See, that's the thing that you can do with the chain blades. That and the friggin' amazing dodges that you have. Crap, we're on fire. Okay, we're able to put that out. I'm going to actually pop a healing item. Incoming another fire attack. And that's a lot of AoE on the ground, so I'm going to steer clear of that. I'm going to wait for him to move out, and now charge in. Ouch. Nice little punch to the face. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Moving back in. Oh, looks like we already chopped the tail. We do have three sword users, so I guess they've been going to town on it. Okay, oops. We got his little aerial attack. Should be fairly safe for me to just stay in here and just, like, spin to win. Basically, I can keep going, following him around while he's doing this and just spamming attacks on his legs because of the mobility of the uh, light attacks themselves. Oh crap, no, I got my body blocked. Got body blocked real bad. Come on, come on, come on. And go back in. 
And now we should be able to just wail on him like nobody's business. I'm gonna regen some stamina, move away. Ooh, I wanted to go back out, but I kind of failed the um the second special there. That's this is very dangerous. Did we use all of our no we didn't. Okay, we still have some ether in there that we can sniff. Ouch. Now let's move back in. Is that leg broken? I think that leg might be broken. We gotta work on the front leg a little bit more. But I do need to heal a little bit. So let's actually sheath our weapons run away. Always remember that if you sheath your weapons before you start to run away, you're actually not going to expend any stamina. Oh wow, we had one use out of that. Move back in. I wanted to move out, but I was actually out of uses there. Okay, this is good. He went down. Gives us the perfect opportunity to just abuse him. We still have some stamina, so let's go for another one. That was a lot of damage. Now move away. This weapon still needs a little bit more punishment. Oh, wow. Actually, he died right there. Didn't even stand a chance. That was not too shabby, if I can say so myself. How was our score in this one? B. Wow. Okay, the sword users carried again. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, this right here is the chain blades. As per usual, let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know uh, if you guys want to see more Dauntless content in the channel. I still have a couple of weapons that I want to cover. Uh, and then I will be taking all of your feedback. But yeah, uh, feedback, comment section below. And remember, if you enjoy my videos, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you actually get notifications. And once again, the end slate's coming up with two more video suggestions for you. If you guys are looking to uh, entertain yourself some more with uh, my videos, be sure to click on one of those and keep going. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.